Hi friends. I'm going live second time in a day. I'm looking a little tired today. I have not slept well this whole week, so be kind. Um, I had to come out to the thrift store today to um, look for a couple of things for a project. So I thought I would come on live for my thrifting with Hillary share and take you around the thrift store again. So last week I was um, at the Many Hands, the new store um, over by Merle Hay in Des Moines. And today I am at their Clive store. So if you are in the area, take advantage of seeing what they have so you know if you need to come out and buy anything. I did just walk in and notice that they have a lot of furniture so I'm excited to walk over there and see what they have. Also it looks like I have a black eye or something but I'm not sure what that is so it's not a black eye. Okay I'm going to turn the camera around and um, let you guys see what I'm seeing and I always forget where the camera is so Okay, so I'm in the clothes section. I didn't really show this at the other store, but you can kind of see they have a really good selection um, of everything. They have a bunch of coats up here, and then they kind of um, parcel things out so you maybe don't have to hunt through all of the racks. Sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't, but they're vintage, uh, vintage clothing right here. Bunch of bags. I have found some really good bags here before. They have accessories. Um, remember my scarf wreath that I shared um, the other day? This would make a really fun wreath. And there are actually two that are the same. Oh boy, I might have to make a wreath out of that. So excited to have you guys watching. Maybe this is a good time, 11 o'clock, to do a live. So you can see they have a bunch of bags. Over here they have things, um, maybe a little bit more high-end items, or what they consider high-end, sort of locked up. So you'd have to ask for access to that. I'm hoping, I have something specific in mind for a project, so I'm hoping that they have what I need here. Otherwise, I'll have to head to another thrift store. Shoot. I actually haven't been here in a while, so it's always nice to come to a thrift store when you haven't been there for a while, because hopefully they have turned over some items. So I'm noticing this maple hutch. It is really pretty. It's a secretary. Um, super pretty. The wood is really nice. Um, I will say that their prices have gotten a little high here on furniture. Um, so take it or leave it <laughs> for what that's worth. Um, so they have been running a few sales because I think they're probably sitting on things a little bit longer. This is pretty, a commode. They're calling it a dry sink, which I suppose it could be a dry sink as well, but it's a commode. So actually, speaking of commode, I always get comments about the pink piece in our entryway. It is actually a commode that was painted. I took off the towel rack harp thing on the back. So that's what that is in our entryway. Uh, someone just asked what prices are like on furniture. I mean, just a for instance, this, which is super dated, is $199 and they had had it at $299. Um, let's see, this one in particular, this is $299. Um, it's a really nice piece, but to me, that's not a thrift store price, so. Okay. Lazy boy sofa. Yes, I have heard a toilet called a commode as well. I think I think that word is probably interchangeable for, for all bathroom type things. This couch is fun or this love seat, but this is really making me happy. Ho 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 holy buckets. Oh I love that. 
This is 159. Would that look amazing in my office? I'm gonna have to consider that. Sorry, I'm making you dizzy. I'm trying to figure out a good way to, to go around here. So I guess for some of the stuff, I always consider like what people sell things for online or like Facebook marketplace, you know, what is a reasonable, what is a reasonable price for a used, a used item that is sort of a dime a dozen. Um, and I think like hutches and things like that, everyone's getting rid of those. So I think pricing on that should be a little more reasonable. This is something exceptional. Very different than you normally see here. I don't know if that's a good brand or not, but this has been marked down now to $349. Okay, this set is nice. Vintage sofa and love seat. Pretty. Looks like $99 and $159 on uh, the sofa. Those are really cool. Hi. Good. How are you? Good. Okay. Then a sectional here. This is a good size. Has some um, places that it needs to be repaired. This would possibly be an opportunity to make those repairs and then paint this. Um, I think it would be perfect for a basement, um, you know, where <laughs> things can be maybe not as perfect. This is a fun dresser. There's a pretty inlay here. Fun hardware. This is $89. So I always like the waterfall design. And what I mean by the waterfall design is this rounded top here. So that's pretty, probably like 1940s, I'm estimating on the date. Um, has some dovetail joinery here, so still a nice piece, solid wood. So you can see they have a ton of stuff, ton of furniture. These are fun. like those chairs a lot let's see dining table with three leaves six chairs two hundred and nineteen dollars so there's some good potential there all right kind of take a leave from that Okay, now one of the things I was hunting for today <laughs> is a basket, and they look pretty picked over today, so I might have to head to another store to find a basket for what I want. This is interesting. Uh, this is a sewing table, and then this looks like the cover of it. Very interesting. Okay, we'll head over to like the craft area. This is one of my favorite spots. If you're looking to do some crafting or wanna do some crafting, I think always head to the thrift store first. There's always stuff there, um, way better prices. I mean, obviously you can't always find exactly what you want, but I think there's potential. At least find a few of the things. They have some fabric here. More fabric. This is cute. Looks vintage. Oh, that's cute. They've put on there five yards. That's $10. I will be honest that I don't buy enough fabric to know if that's a good deal or not. But that's really cute. Looks like some patterns and books. Oh, 
Okay, this would be a fun little bag just to buy for like crafty bits. Pom-poms can be expensive. I'm looking down here at this palm fringe. You could cut those off as well. Um, like I said, pom-poms can be expensive. I don't know if I love this sage color, but still. So, look at the thrift store for craft supplies. This, a dollar. You could buy this a Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, when I look at the thrift store, <laughs> As long as I could, like knowing that this is at the Dollar Tree, as long as they have it marked a dollar here, I will buy it here. If it's more expensive, I will not buy it. Um, even though you're doing a good thing by buying something used, it's not responsible necessarily financially to be spending more than you could spend somewhere else. So that's sort of how I decide what I'm going to buy. Okay, and then I shared last week that I always look at office supplies and things like that. Um, in the new year, I'm going to be sharing some ideas from the thrift store for organizing. Um, so this would be a really good section to look at if you're going to do some organizing in your house. I'm already spotting some things that I would pick out. little kennel so then here's where they kind of do pet stuff sometimes they'll have like plant pots and things like that just kind of a mixture of everything thanks for joining I was talking the other day about how I used to get really nervous to come on live um, I still do get nervous to come on live on Instagram versus Facebook. Facebook doesn't bother me, but I used to get so nervous to go live out in public and now I just don't care because <laughs> it's what I do. It's my job and I think people are getting more and more used to, to seeing things like that. So anyway, if you're nervous, don't be nervous. Some pillows. These are fun 80s. They're probably from a sofa back in the day. Obviously, tons of pillows. People are definitely scared of buying soft items at the thrift store, um, but you don't have to be. You can wash those. There's a lot of potential in here, especially if you can find some down inserts. Like Even if you don't like the covers, look at, look at the pillows for the inserts. You can save a ton of money. Like this one up here, the orange one, Coralie, I can guarantee that that is a down insert. So even if you didn't like that pillow cover, the pillow inside would be worth buying it. Again, Many Hands does a really good job of everything being organized, making sure that it is, um, they make sure, you know, that it's a good product and there aren't holes and things like that. Um, so that's something that I do appreciate about them. And so sometimes I can understand the pricing that they have on things. Um, but again, not necessarily the furniture. This is a fun quilt. $15. Um, you know, just a scrap, scrap piece quilt. Like this fabric. I don't love all the fabric on it, but that's fun and it feels really nice. <laughs> Lots of linens. They have everything here sized by um, what size bed. It's all really nicely organized. vintage top sheet so again I'm not a gifted seamstress but if you can sew I think there's a lot of potential at the thrift store for making new things out of the fabric that's here it's a really pretty quilt kind of a, a blue color all right well that's Hillary hi <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking for something, yay, 
this is actually exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna, hopefully that'll still be here when I'm done. This is the crock pot that I grew up with later in later years. My mom must have upgraded her like green lobster one to that. Um, looking a little picked over here today in the kitchen section. I do have a piece of Pyrex, so that's a little pricey for this. So that's just kind of what I'm talking about. This is a cool piece. Very interesting. It's a pan, but it's a very interesting shape. I love the lid. This is pretty. I like this is old. I wouldn't use it necessarily, but it'd be fun with like flowers or succulents in it or something. So they do test all of these things. So you'll see this has been tested. So you can feel good about buying it and knowing that it will work. I don't know what this is. I don't know if I've ever seen that emblem before. If you know, give me a shout out in the comments. Also, if you see something that you want me to take a closer look at, let me know. I usually try to say that, but I forgot today. This is a cute little jar. I was actually, I might grab that. I was thinking about um, a way to take charcuterie to someone and I wanted to add, add some things to it that I wanted to keep separate and that would work great. These are really pretty. These would be so pretty with tea lights in them with the etching on the glass. And they're 50 cents a piece, which isn't bad. That'd be so pretty on a tablescape. This is a good tray, just clear plastic, but I think that would be a perfect opportunity to do maybe some decoupage. It's 250. glassware these are really pretty 50 cents again I would probably put candles in those or they would be perfect um, for a charcuterie board to put like pickles and olives and hummus in I, yeah excuse me Mugs, you guys know if you followed me for very long that I love mugs. I always take a look at them. I think mugs are fun because they're inexpensive, so you can use one for a while, and then if you're ready for something different, you can donate it back and get a new one. That way you won't have too many floating around your house. More dishes. Sorry for the noise. It sounds like they're sawing something in the back or something. Some more mugs, coffee cups. All right.
right, head over to like the decor. I haven't looked at any of this yet, so maybe there'll be treasures. Bag of bells, two dollars for some projects. A giant clock, that's thirty two dollars. That is that might be like forty eight inches or forty two inches. That is big. catching my eye yet <laughs> little stools like this are always good if you had the ability to cut that off and straighten it out a little bit give it a new paint job update it this is kind of neat Silver plated, that would be pretty. It's a piggy bank, pretty to get cleaned up. That could be a fun little gift. So again here, they separate things out sort of by color in the decor section. Um, some people really like that. I don't mind it, but I kind of like the thrill of the hunt, so that kind of takes it, takes it away from me a little bit, but they do such a nice job of keeping their store clean and really well organized. Oops, I don't want to pass up the candles. I'm on the hunt for a pair of Lucite candlesticks, which who knows if I'll ever find them, but I'm trying to look at all of the, the candles. This is the stuff that I question, you know, as time goes on, will this become popular again? Who buys this right now? Um, who buys the tchotchkes? Because I think we are, have moved more to like a less cluttered look in our homes. So just, I'm always just curious about that. When will we see the, that trend come back? This is pretty, it's just a print, but still really pretty. And then this is where they tend to put, um, again, things that, vintage items, things like that. It's very sparse right now. And then some collectibles or what, I don't, I don't really know. Usually they have better things in here. Lots of books. Look what I see, guys. Deceptively delicious. It's always at the thrift store. <laughs> Tons of books, records. And their sports equipment used to be over here, so I'm wondering if they've moved it. Okay, toys. Okay, I'm so curious. This is, oh my gosh. These are the third ones of these that I have seen. Did anyone else have this? 
when they were growing up. I'm trying to think of where this even came from. Target. Okay, so, sorry, I'm having a tangent. I was with Jason the other day and we saw one at a thrift store and I pointed out to him, but it didn't look familiar to him. So Target had these one year as their whatever Christmas thing. And we went to my grandparents that year for Christmas and Santa showed up there with this for us. So that is so fun. And I think I had this too. So some, some eighties child donated their stuffed animals. Oh, that is, it's making me sad right now. I think this is a Teddy Ruxpin, maybe? A Teddy Ruxpin knockoff? Interesting. All right, here is their sports section. So lots of sports equipment. Um, don't, don't forget to look at this stuff. This is how we have built a lot of our home gym. Um, I kind of like those little weights to sort of warm up with. So definitely check this section out. Also like the pull bag that I got, um, the pull cart that is out on our porch. It was in sort of the, you know, sports section at the thrift store that I found it at. These would be super cute for the holidays. Um, you can find a lot of plaid in this area. So definitely, you know, I know you guys all love plaid, plaid like I do. So don't forget to look here. All right, so that is basically the store. Um, I don't know if this one is as big as their new store. I don't think that it is, um, but I definitely love this location. If you are in the Des Moines area and haven't come yet, this is the Many Hands in Clive. Um, it's an old Babies R Us, I think. Um, so they got a lot of like the displays and stuff from when it was that store. So anyway, let me know if you watch this in the replay. Let me know what your favorite item was that you saw while I was looking. Um, I'm going to go back and get that little crock pot and I'll be sharing on Saturday what I'm going to do with that. I'm super excited, um, but I'm going to have to go to another thrift store to find a basket. So bummed out about that. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that you have been inspired or just enjoyed having the tour of um, a thrift store in my area. I know Jason and I went thrifting yesterday um, up in northern Iowa, northwest Iowa, and it made me very thankful for the thrift stores that we have here um, and the antique stores. Prices were super high. Um, I didn't think that the selections were great, so always makes me thankful to come home and be able to come here and have just a really great selection. So again, thank you for watching and hope you guys have a really great day.